Today, a mass shooting at a military facility in Florida. The Navy confirming a gunman opened fire at Naval Air Station Pensacola, killing at least three people and injuring seven more. When you get into the scene like that, uh, it is a bit like a movie because you have spent shell casings all over. This is a, a rather large building. Uh, the deputies and those assisting agencies uh, all worked in conjunction to neutralize the threat, and that's why there were not more uh, loss of life. Authorities say deputies were on the scene within minutes, quickly trading gunfire with the shooter inside a training facility. Naval officials announcing on Twitter the active shooter is deceased. As we have eight individuals that were transported to a local hospital, one of those later succumbed to the injuries, and then we have three others that remain at the building, and that is part of the active crime scene. Two deputies who responded to the shooting were shot in the firefight. Both are expected to survive. There's no word on the condition of the other victims right now. This active shooter incident coming just two days after a deadly shooting at a different naval base in Hawaii. A sailor opening fire on civilians at Pearl Harbor Shipyard, killing two people then himself. There are weapons restrictions at all military bases that limit their access only to authorized personnel. Pensacola Naval Air Station is still on lockdown. Officials say it will be closed all day today as the investigation continues. Trevor Ault, ABC News, New York.